Aguete. Welcome to Beginner's Latin Lesson 18. In this lesson, we'll be talking about third conjugation verbs. So far, we've looked at the present tense forms of the first and second conjugations. The first conjugation has a stem that ends in a long A and present tense infinitive that ends are. The second conjugation has a stem that ends in a long E and present tense infinitive that ends in ere. Can you remember any examples of verbs which fit into one of these two conjugations? Here are some verbs that we've learned before and some you might not be familiar with. They are all first or second conjugation verbs. For the first conjugation we have amo, which means I like or I love, walko, I call, I summon, ambulo, I walk, laudo, I praise, sto, I stand, I stay. For the second conjugation, the examples we have are teneo, I have or I hold, torqueo, I twist, I wind, I spin, I whirl. It can also be used to mean I torture or I torment. Moneo means I warn or I advise. It can also mean I remind. Sedeo means I sit. Maneo means I wait for someone or something. I've added three more rows to the table. Two for third conjugation verbs and one for fourth conjugation verbs. I've shaded out the fourth conjugation row because we will not be covering this group of verbs in this lesson. Third conjugation verbs are distinguished by the short e in their present tense infinitive. Not to be confused with the long e at the end of a second conjugation verb. Third conjugation verbs have a present tense stem ending in a short i. Third conjugation verbs are divided into two groups. Those which have first person present tense form that ends in eo or io and those whose first person stem does not. The former are called I-stem verbs or I-O-variant verbs. You might also see this group of verbs referred to as conjugation 3.5 in some grammar books. This is because they share characteristics of both third conjugation verbs and fourth conjugation verbs. Now that we've looked at all this information, let's fill out the two remaining rows of this table. To clarify, all third conjugation verbs have an infinitive that ends in ere. However, one set of third conjugation verbs has a first person present tense form which ends in io and the other does not. Furthermore, this group is known as io variant third conjugation verbs. Both groups of third conjugation verbs have a present tense stem that ends in a short i. Here are some examples of third conjugation verbs. They might look familiar as we touched on them briefly in lesson 17 when we introduced the imperative. We have dico, I say or I speak, duco, I lead, quairo, I seek, I search for, mito, I send, relinquo, I release. Also, we have io variant verbs facio, I do, I make, capio, I capture, I seize, hugio, I flee, and yakio, I throw. Remember the four principal parts of a Latin verb? This is what we find when we look up a Latin verb in a dictionary. It tells us to what conjugation the verb belongs and how to conjugate it. Here we have mito, the verb to send. Its present infinitive is mitere. It ends in ere. -E with the penultimate E being short, therefore we know that it's a third conjugation verb. Its first person singular form tells us that it is not an IO variant verb, and it also gives us its present tense stem. In later lessons we'll learn about the third and fourth principal parts and their uses. Let's look at some third conjugation verbs and their meanings. Capio, capre, capi, captus. To capture, to seize. Cupio, cupere, cupivi, cupitum. To desire, to long for. It is an io variant third conjugation verb. Dico, dicere, dixi, dictum. To say, to speak. Duco, ducere, duxi, ductum. 
to lead. Facio, facere, feki, factus. To make, to do. Falo, falere, fefeli, falsum. To deceive, to trick, to mistake. Fugio, fugere, fugi, fugitus. To flee, to run away, to escape. Yakio, yakere, yaki, yaktus. To throw. Lego, legere, legi, lectum. To read. Mito, mitere, misi, misum. To send. Elo, elere, epuli, pulsum. To drive, to strike, to hurl. Pono, ponere, posui, positum. To put, to place, to lay. Quairo, quairere, quaisivi, quaisitum. To seek, to look for, to search, or to ask or to question, or in certain contexts, to strive for. Relinquo, relinquere, reliqui, relictum, to leave, to relinquish. And finally, traho, trahere, traxi, tractum, to drag, to draw out. Let's conjugate the verb traho in the present tense. Its present tense term is trahi. The third conjugation differs from the first and second because to form the present tense stem, we remove the ere ending of the present infinitive and add an i. Whereas with first and second conjugation verbs, we simply remove the re from the present infinitive. The suffixes for first, second and third person singular and plural forms are shown in the second table. Here is the present tense conjugation for this verb. We have traho, I drag, trahis, you singular drag, trahit, he drags, she drags, it drags, trahimus, we drag, trahitis, you plural drag, trahunt, they drag. Notice that the I is not present in the first person singular and third person plural forms. Here is the present tense stem for the verb quairo. It is conjugated in the same way as trajo. Pause the video and see if you can work out its present tense forms. Here is the present tense conjugation. Quairo, I seek. Quairis, you singular seek. Quairit, he seeks, she seeks, it seeks. Quairimus, we seek. Quairitis, you plural seek. Quairunt, they seek. How about lego? Pause the video and see if you can conjugate this verb in the present tense. Here is the present tense conjugation. Lego, I read. Legis, you singular read. Legit, he reads. She reads. It reads. Legimus, we read. Legitis, you plural read. Legunt, they read. Let's have a look at IO variant verbs now. Here is the stem of fugio. Here is the present tense form of the verb. Fugio, I flee. Fugis, you singular flee. Fugit, he flees, she flees, it flees. Fugimus, we flee. Fugitis, you plural flee. Fugiunt, they flee. Notice that the I, notice the I in the first person singular and third person plural forms. We have fugiunt and fugio rather than fugo and fugunt. 
Here is tapio, another IO variant verb. Pause the video and try to conjugate it in the present tense. Here are the answers. We have tapio, I capture, tapis, you singular capture, tapit, he captures, she captures, it captures, tapimus, we capture, tapitis, you plural capture, tapiunt, they capture. So that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll be looking at translating and constructing sentences with third conjugation verbs. For now, I'll leave you with this Latin phrase, tempus fugit, time flies. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful.